Hey everyone, it's NickA30 here. So I think I found the quickest, but not only the quickest way, but the safest way as well to build a one by one. Now this is for if an enemy is above you and they have the high ground and you're trying to build a one by one and be safe doing so. So at first you're going to be exposed. You're going to want to build around and you're going to build your, your pyramid and your pyramid below. Now the thing about pyramids is it allows you to build through it. If you notice right here, I can build all the way around. You can't do that if a floor is placed, okay? So I'm gonna show you the rest of the design and then we will uh, explain it and break it down. And that's basically it right there. So obviously you're completely covered. And if an enemy has the high ground, obviously they might shoot you a couple times. And with that, you can just hold uh, the build and turbo build the pyramid. If you need to do like a floor as well, an extra layer, um, by all means do so. And then when they stop shooting, you just want to basically make an edit. You have to make uh, three squares uh, edited. If you only do two, like so, when you try to build and go around you, it's not going to let you. As you can see, it's not going to let you cover your back. So you need to make sure that's there. And then bam. You got it all the way around, and then you uh, you build your uh, you make your edit, you build your pyramid, and then reset it. Okay, so I'm just gonna basically break it down in slow motion for you guys. Okay, so we got our one by one. I built walls all around me. I'm gonna build my pyramid below, my pyramid on top. Now, I'm just showing you guys step by step. Now, this is obviously an advanced strategy, and if you're new to the game, I wouldn't recommend doing it, but first things first. So you basically edit this square, this square, and it becomes a ramp upwards. Then you can make your builds of your walls all the way around. And the thing is, when you're doing this, you don't want to be pushed right up against it. Because when you're making your builds and then you're trying to edit this, like you get caught in your pyramid and it's very, very hard. So you only want to go up your ramp a little bit. And as you make those builds around, then you edit the two squares where you're standing up at the highest point of your ramp. Bam. And then that allows you to build a pyramid through. Okay. Then you can you edit your pyramid again. You reset it. Then you edit the two squares on the opposite side. Obviously, you jump as you do it. Otherwise... It might get uh, messed up, but so if, if we reset it, we do this and then bam, reset it like that. Okay, that's the gist of it. So you're covering yourself as you're building up. And I just like to show you guys it in fast motion right now. So as me doing it as quickly as possible, what it would look like. you can end up doing it really fast and the thing about it is is it looks very very stylish and very very cool so i guess i just show, like to show you guys a couple other strategies that i've been working on in playground mode so let's say um here let me get down from here actually so let's say you're building that ramp you're on that side over there enemy comes over right like this and they ramp over you okay so one strategy that i like to do is you build a floor, you extend out, you build a pyramid, then you edit that pyramid, the first two squares above, and then you double ramp. Now, mind you, that's going to leave you exposed, but you're assuming that the enemy is up here and they're like looking down, looking over, and then, you know, obviously they can angle out. So you're going to want to be quick. You're not going to want to double ramp for a long period of time, but it does offer you some protection, which I, I think is a stylish way of doing it. So one more time, it basically just looks like this, where you're, you do that, 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 and you're double ramping, and then you can turn around and do everything else. Now, another thing is when you are double ramping like this, what you can do is you build all the way around you and then you look up and then you're double ramping. And that's if someone's gonna be like shooting you behind. And what it does is it connects to the wall above you. So you just gotta make sure there's a wall behind you and then you got it. So in fast motion, Just like that. Another thing that I've been working on is, let's say you have the storm circle on your back and you're trying to push in with an enemy pressuring you who's already in the storm. So west is where they're at and that's where you need to go directly west. And the storm is right on your back. Now there's not really many ways to for protection. What people will do is they'll tunnel in and then they'll make an edit while tunnel in. But when you're doing that, it leaves you very, very exposed for a brief period of time when you until you build your like floor or until you extend outwards a little bit to build that next wall. So what I've been practicing is a way to do it is you just basically rotate your ramp. Um, I wish I had flat ground here. And then what you do is you edit. And then it offers like almost complete protection. And you can get away with doing it very, very quickly, as you can see. And you're always protected because as soon as you make the next edit, you're holding down the le uh, left click or the uh, mouse button. And then you have that protection, right?
Okay, and now here's another design uh, design for if an enemy is on an angle, like to your left or to your right. So first, if they're on your left, what you're going to want to do, here's your front-facing ramp. You're going to rotate it to the right side once, okay? Um, if you were to do it to this side, well, let me show you the design first. So ramp, ramp, floor, ramp, ramp, floor, ramp, ramp, floor, ramp, ramp, floor, ramp, ramp, floor. And this is a design that Sancho West showed me. And as you can see, it protects you. Now, obviously, it's not extra protection, but if an enemy starts shooting you, you can stop the design, build a floor, and then just kind of like wait it out right here and then continue on with your ramp, ramp, floor. Well, obviously, this is blocking me, but you get the idea. Now, let's say an enemy were to be on the right side this time. So doing that design doesn't protect you in a way because I'll show you like if I'm above here Starting with this way and then over here it leaves that side very vulnerable So what you do is you rotate it to this side, okay, and then you're covered. You're much more covered So you rotate it depending on where the enemy is and then you ramp ramp floor ramp ramp floor ramp ramp floor It's kind of bugging out because there is nothing there but ramp ramp floor ramp ramp floor ramp ramp floor and then it offers some extra protection. And the thing about this is it allows you to keep on running. When you get it down very quickly, you can keep that momentum going and you don't have to stop. As you can see, you're running in, in one direction. It's almost like, you know, those people who are running across Loot Lake and there's someone shooting them. They, they do this for protection. They just use one ramp. But this is designed for almost protection all the way around. And the thing about it is you're only using three materials. Ramp, uh, ramp, ramp, floor, as opposed to doing your, your look like right here, one by one and then extending out one by one and then extending out, right? It's a lot slower as well. So that's just an, another way of getting to the next circle, I guess in a quick fashion if you really, really need to. And then of course there's, you know, the fancy designs that you'll see a lot of the pros do like this, you know, double ramping. And then there's a design that, Mar shout out to Martos for this one. So let's say you get uh, floored over, someone puts the floor above you and you're like ramping up and then all of a sudden the floor comes. What you can do is jump to the side and then double ramp like that. So in slow motion, it is basically, you're jumping to the side, floor, okay? You turn, you basically place the ramp so that you're underneath it, and then a ramp in front of you, and then you double ramp. So again, in fast motion. Whoa, that was laggy. And then, you know, one more time. And then obviously you can do it in the, in like the forward direction, such as like this. Um, but one of the reasons why you do it to the right is because the, if the enemy floors you off, typically they're like right here, right? So if you go to like that angle right there, you'll have the double ramp like like so. But again, all they have to do is kind of step to the side and then they can see you. Whereas when you double ramp like so right here, and they're back over in this position, they have to, they, they don't have an angle. They have to break this to see you. But obviously you don't want to go too high up. It's just kind of to offer some temporary protection to regain high ground. And then there's a way to gain high ground very quickly. So you're building a ramp, right? This is like the enemy, let's say. Well, there's a quicker way to, I guess, go up um, to the sky. So what it is, is you basically build a ramp, right? Here's where it starts. Then you're going to want to build a pyramid ramp. And then the pyramid that you're going to jump onto is this. And then obviously you rotate around, you do the floor and then ramp. And then you keep on going, right? So like in fast motion, it looks like this. I think it's a, I think it actually is a little bit quicker if you can get the timing down, but obviously you can't mess it up, but it, uh, and then the thing is you can like do that double ramp, like kind of like that. So pyramid, bam, bam, like so. So yeah. And then there's like this technique where let's say there's someone like on a mountain top, like right there, right? You can do this little pyramid technique. Now, this isn't basically for style points. You want to do the edit. You edit those two squares. You jump, floor, wall, wall, and then reset. Edit those two squares in front, and then you're ready to go. So basically, what that pyramid technique does is it allows you to get to one story higher, right? So if you were to do it like this, you're, you're one story hi higher now, so they have less of an angle on you versus being down here and then, like, trying to ramp up. You see how they can, like, headshot me, like, clearly there? Um, so you're almost just giving yourself like an extra Oh messed it up. You're just giving yourself an extra Like pr extra protection while you gain a second story And then we have a quick little way of getting down from the high ground Say you're in a build off and you need to drop down and we shooting it down You know, it's slow to rotate your ramp twice and then go downwards like this or even you know Edit your way down like slowly slowly going down um, So a simple way or a quick way of doing it is just running off building wall wall, wall ramp wall wall, wall ramp wall wall, wall ramp Wall, wall ramp and you just keep doing that over and over again and like i said a lot of pros already know this but just in case you know you don't know just a quicker way and you can also do it with floors as well and then you know edit down 
I find floors, you always duplicate it like that, so it ends up slowing you down even more, which is why I like using ramps. It rarely ever happens with ramps. But, you know, you have uh, a bunch of different ways of doing it. And what I've even seen is, you know, people doing this with floors, like so. And then they just step to the side. And I guess that would eliminate the factor of, like, editing and, you know, slowing you down even more. So I guess that's an even quicker way of, uh, of doing it. And mind you, you can do the exact same thing with ramps. You can step to the side as well instead of editing your ramp and dropping down. Same technique. And then there's been another technique that I've been working on, which I don't know what it would be useful for. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. But I've just been kind of been working on quick edits like so, where you rotate and you're kind of constantly going up. Now, if you could use this in a build-up, let me know how you guys think how you could do so. But, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't really, like, see any any kind of purpose. I've just kind of been messing around in, in Playground doing this. So, yeah, um, I, I think that's all for now, guys. Um, if you wanted me to elaborate on any of the techniques I mentioned, maybe I could have broke down the reasons on why you'd use them or if there's more, like, techniques you want to see because there definitely is. I just kind of did a couple that uh, are a few that came to mind, but I have more techniques that I'd like to share. So if you do like this video, make sure to, you know, leave a like and, and let me know that you enjoyed it and that you want to see more and I will do it. And I'll try to be more concise and break down exactly why you'd want to do these certain techniques, when you'd want to do them, and maybe it can, I can even offer other techniques as well and other strategies and tips for rushing people when to rush when not to when to rotate right so yeah uh, and, and another thing if you'd like to support me directly there is a join button uh down below if you scroll down a bit or if you're on mobile use the link in the description it helps support me and you get some cool emotes and you can chat in our live streams i always live stream every single day and uh yeah guys without further ado uh, take it easy keep on being awesome a team and i will see you all in the next one hey <laughs>